Spinal subluxation causes interference in the nervous system. So what is a spinal subluxation? Basically, it's joint dysfunction. It used to be in the old days, chiropractors would, chiropractors would say, uh, it's a bone on a nerve, bone's out of place, you're going to put it back in place. Eh, that's usually not the case. And the bone's not on the nerve, usually. But it's the same conclusion. It does cause nerve interference. We now know all the fancy reasons behind it, right? So we've, we've got function MRI, et cetera, et cetera. I could go into that story a long time. But subluxation does cause nerve interference, and we know the nervous system is a master system. So if you interfere with that, um, that master system running the body, sure, you're going to have pain or tension or spasm, but you also could have problems with the organs um, that those nerves go to, or you can have trouble with the brain that all that information from the spine and from the organ feeds back into. What kind of problems? Anxiety, depression, neurodevelopmental disorders. Um, and then organ function could be constipation, kids with colic, um, 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 ear infections. Um, can we cure all these things? No. We help the body work better. The nervous system works better. When your body's working better, then it can cure lots of things. Your body's healing itself from cancer every single day. All right? So nervous system, master system, spinal subluxation is an interference to that.